Okay, let me, let me just, um... Hey friends, Takadiris. So throughout the entire course of human history, one of the most fundamental forms of entertainment has been music. And music has been a very powerful tool to do a multitude of things, such as express ideologies, political standpoints, making fresh memes. Go tell it on the Jesus Christ is born. And also very commonly used for bringing people together for the best and worst intentions. Something on this channel tells me that you guys really like it when I dive into cults, and so in this video I'm going to be combining two of my fascinations, music and cults. When it comes to cults, they kind of fit in that same mold with my fascination with true crime and dark history. And it's weird because it's like, I don't like what happens to people. Of course, I don't condone cults who brainwash innocent people. It's a terrible thing what they do. But at the same time, one of the most human reactions to have when looking at these things is asking yourself, why and how? And so one of the most common tools that these cults use is music. I'm going to be subjecting myself by listening to music made by cults. It's midnight right now and so that means my dreams are going to be more messed up than usual. Ah! So the first album that we're going to be reviewing, Needle Drop, you're gonna get on this I hope, is the album called The Sounds of Japanese Doomsday Cults, music by Om Shinri Kyo leader Shoko Asahara. I'm pretty sure that that is a custom album made by whoever uploaded this. Now Om Shinri Kyo, I know I have talked about many 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 times on this channel. For those of you that don't know, Om Shinri Kyo, very infamous cult here in Japan that was responsible for the sarin gas attack in the 90s. If you guys want a full in-depth video of that, you guys can watch this right here. So Om Shinri Kyo set out to do what all cults want to do, which is gain more members. They put all their money into literally every kind of advertisement that they could at the time. They've made their own anime. They've made their own manga. And of course, they had to go back to the basics by making their own music. In fact, if any of you have seen the video where I went over the manga made by Om Shinri Kyo, you know that at the very end, I did play a CD that was said to have been the same music that members would listen to during meditation. I still don't know if that CD is legit or not. But I do know that this album that I'm about to listen to is definitely 100% by Om Shinri Kyo, because the singer in here is by Shoko Asahara himself, which is the cult leader. All right, let's give this a shot. There's only two songs here, which is weird. I'm not in any way worried that a song like this is gonna be copyrighted. Okay, sounds... So he's just saying one, two, three, four, five. So it's very repetitive, which I know to be kind of a really common thing that Shoko Asahara did in a lot of his music. It seems like repeating the same thing is just something that he's known for doing. <laughs> So I think he's trying to describe himself as God, maybe, because he keeps saying he's counting the sins, or maybe he's telling his members to count their sins. I just want to know what was going on through his head writing these lyrics. I don't know how his music could have brought anybody in, because... It sounds like shit. Uh, if you lie, I know it. are 
so creepy. He's like saying, I like I I know your lies and this that last one was, oh, I didn't do it. I'm innocent. I guess he's talking about people who sin and this is what they tell themselves or what they always say like, oh, I didn't do it. I'm innocent. And he's saying, oh, I know the lies in your heart, basically. It's so weird. It's just... This song is a certified cult classic. <laughs> Let me let me just process what I just heard. It, it's it's just a bunch of random words. He said something about like a high fever, a ghost, a beast. <laughs> this in Japanese karaoke that's what this what that's what the song sounds like it sounds like he's like in a little karaoke room saying this and I don't know maybe his cult members are there partying it up with him <laughs> Shoko Asahara, at least he's dead. So we have that going for us. Hi. Joey just came home. Well, actually, you know what? I'll show B, Joey, do you want to listen to some of this, like, banger cult music? You filming right now? Yeah. Hi, I'm drunk. Jothany Biztano here, the internet's not busiest music nerd. <laughs> the, the internet's drunkest music nerd. You look like you're getting brainwashed. No, it's just... You're too it's, drunk it's, for this? No, it's just hilarious. These lyrics are hilariously ironic. He's saying like, You're a liar, you can't fool me. You're a liar, you can't fool me. You're guilty. Yeah. I'm like, bro, that's you! Yeah. <laughs> that's literally you! Not the best thing to listen to before you go to bed. Well, here's my needle drop review. Uh, first of all, production is whack as shit. Uh, whoever was behind the production, probably Asahara Shoko. Whack as fuck. Uh, you know, I'm all for lo-fi sounds, but put some compression in there at least. Mm. He can't sing for shit, mm. so that's that's an issue. Lyrics are whack as fuck. He counts up to five, <laughs> goes back down, counts up to five, and then says, You're a liar. You can't fool me. You're guilty. I'm feeling a strong two to a light three on this one. What's a two for? The album colors fire. <laughs> Which isn't even his. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling a strong one. Tran. Okay. Position. Okay, so the second song is called Sonshi's March. Now, I know that Sonshi is supposed to be like a respected teacher or an honored teacher. So I'm going to take a wild guess that this is a song all about him, the teacher. Let's do it. <laughs> I feel like the main menu of a Final Fantasy game just opened up and instead you see like an 8-bit pixel of Shogo Asahara. Welcome to the Pokemon world. This is the world of Pokemon. This music would make for like great RPG background music. Like Sanchi, 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 Sanchi. 
song when i made the video of detective aki there was like a whole section that like i showed it plays in the beginning of the video if you want to see it, of like the dancing of like these girls which i'm guessing are the followers and they're all like dancing like in cadence and this song played <laughs> Did he just compare himself to Buddha? Come on, dude. It was really weird too because with this cult, Shoka Sahara kind of presented himself almost Christ-like. And now I'm hearing these lyrics comparing himself to Buddha, basically. He just wanted power. And it, it, it's so obvious. That's all that these cults want, you know? And he'll do anything and everything to put himself up to like this pedestal to make himself seem like divine when really he was just a very, very sick, twisted man who made shit music. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so annoying. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, um, we're gonna listen to one more song. It's by a different cult. So it's called uh, SOS Family International and it was made by a cult called the Children of God. And I know that no one really cares about this little fun fact, but I heard that Joaquin Phoenix, when he was a child, was in this cult, uh, forced by his family until he was like three years old or something. So there's that going for us. So they apparently made like this really weird VHS tape. I'm just gonna play it. Okay, this already looks weird. It almost looks like a parody. What? Damn! Okay, let me just say, this was made, it says here, in 1994, which is like pretty much on point when Shoko Asahara's cult was around. I think he could have taken some music pointers from these guys because this is so much better than the last one. Is it weird that like I can barely understand what they're saying versus Shoko Asahara's one? And my Japanese isn't even good. So I think that this is a song that's supposed to go against the concept of computers and technology. Cults like to do this like one thing called love bombing, which also abusive relationships do. It's when they say, oh, I love you, I love you, and I care about you, and I'm always here for you. And in the meantime, they're doing horrible shit and making you do horrible things that you wouldn't normally do. And when you think, just for a second, that something's not right here, that's when they get you and try to reel you back in. And that's when they make fire songs like this to try and remind you, by the way, we're all family. We all love you. We're all here together. I love music. I love the way that it makes me feel. I love all the different emotions it can convey. I love the fact that it can bring people together for concerts or gatherings, but oh my god, is it such a powerful tool. Uh, my hamster's already freaking out. I can hear her digging. You see that? She's all freaked out. She's trying to burrow her way away from the sound now. Just kidding. She's fine. Her only concern is getting all this toilet paper into her nest. Nothing fades the baby. I don't really know how to end this video. This channel's kind of been lacking in a proper outro lately, so I think I'll just leave it at this. <laughs> So 
See ya.